Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review the latest Corvus OS. Yes, that is right. Corvus has released their Android 12 version and uh, our beloved device Poco M3 Citrus or Juice devices have received an official update from one of our friends and many thanks to our friend for taking up the official for Corvus OS and he did a great job in optimizing the raw in optimizing his trays and delivering a smooth performance raw um, first of all i just want to let you know that i'm using the g apps version of the raw and i'm using the latest vendor from frost um frost g so if you want to boot the rom make sure that you are using the latest vendor from frost and you are using magisk now um let's begin our review of the rom from quick settings as you can see quick settings they have kept the basic um i mean or the stock user interface for the quick settings with some changes for the brightness slider so that is the difference that you have over here then coming to the launcher it is using the using a custom launcher but it has quite a lot of customization as you can see once you enable the google search bar you can see that um you can you can make it themed actually right so yeah there you are the google uh, google search bar changes according to the theme so that's an advantage right so let me go back to the uh, home settings again and as you can see all apps themed icon once you enable or disable it you can see that in the app drawer it change the icons changes to the default ones and once you enable it it changes to the um to the themed icons you can see it from here yeah not all icons are being changed but quite a few icons are being changed i hope they are working on it and then you will have uh, double tap gesture then show free rams in recent and you can even adjust the icon size and font size so that is about the launcher customization basically yeah this rom is offering some uh, customizations for the launcher too once you come to the app drawer you can see that even though it is a g apps version of the rom it is not bloated with quite a lot of g apps but some useful g apps like calendar clock google uh, messages phone play store yeah pretty much the basic stuff so once you go to the settings you will see the magic i do honestly hi guys honestly speaking i do really love the way they have um they have cha made the user interface for the settings page you can see um it is arranged in tabs so once you click on to corvus settings you will get the corvus customization and device settings you will get uh, um, device settings so that really looks uh, amazing and it's a fantastic uh, um, thing to see so basically that was a wise decision or that was a good choice i would say you get a header naming settings then you get the search icon uh, you will get the uh, user uh, once you sign into gmail account maybe the avatar will change instead of this thing and yeah here you are once you click on to the uh, corvus logo you can see the corvus version the Corvus version is S2.1 Revolt, Maintainer, uh, Name Nathaniel and the build date Thursday, April 7 and the build type official. Then once you go to Raman's desk, you can actually check for the OT updates. Then you get some information related to the changelog and um, device and source, then maintainer information. So that is really amazing once you click on to the Corvus logo. So it, it's, it's really good. Now um, from the settings page you will have these options and let's go to the security and see if we have a f yeah we just have a fingerprint and a screen screen lock so basically you don't get face unlock with this particular ROM as of now and under the pin lock you can even have the scrambled layout and the quick unlock so these are the two security options that you will get in this ROM. And then coming to the system go to the gestures you will have some more um, some more customization like a system navigation you get a two button three button and you even get um, an option to hide the navigation bar and stuff like that so yeah all the pretty much basic customizations are here now coming to the core settings the first one that you will have is theming option and if you want to use custom color for your user interface definitely you can do that 
and uh, you will get quite a lot of fonts to be used so it's a lot of fonts and icon packs you can choose custom icon packs if you want to and then signal icon styles again you can use custom signal icons and you will get uh, icon shapes too then coming to the next option is status bar um, first of all you will get uh, status bar icon customization to enable and disable water icons you want to see on your status bar then coming next is traffic indicator you will get some uh, customization for the traffic indicator for the uh, neck the activity type and stuff like that then um, there is a toggle for the uh, status bar double tap to sleep for the um, for the status bar and clock and date settings under the clock and date settings you can arrange whether it needs to be displayed on left right or whatever you want so coming back then uh, the next one that you will have is quick settings brightness slider where you want to um, if you if you never want to show the brightness slider you can just that and if you want to show it when expanded you can do that then you can adjust the position too and there is a toggle for to enable the auto brightness icon then lock screen you get some option to customize the lock screen shortcuts and there is a double tap um, double tap to wake on those then battery styles you get charging animation battery estimate and battery style you will get some styles to customize your battery how it needs to be displayed on your status bar then battery percentage where uh, where you want to display the battery percentage either inside the icon or uh, outside the icon then toggle colorful battery icon i believe um, when each level is being dropped it will indicate in a different color so if you want to enable that you can do that notification just basic stuff buttons and navigation the basic stuff that you will always get in other roms then miscellaneous unlimited photo storage and unlock higher fps in games so these all are the customization option that you will get with this particular rom even though um, the rom is limited in terms of customization i believe since it is the first release of android 12 they haven't added much customization onto the rom of course we do know uh, corvus from uh, android 10 11 um, it's filled with quite a lot of customization and we hope to see more and more customization in the future updates so what are my verdicts about the rom well um i do i did really love the rom especially the settings page layout they have uh, they gave a wonderful layout for the settings page and yes as an initial release the rom is filled with um, good customization and yep yeah, useful customization basically so um it's an amazing build um so if you want to use it as a daily driver of course you can use it as a daily driver there isn't any issue even though the rom that i have booted up was gabs version the rom is not bloated with quite a lot of gabs and if you want to use a stable and a good rom definitely you can try using corvus many thanks to our friend for uh, taking up the official and releasing the rom once again i would like to thank you for watching my review and please make sure to, su to subscribe to our channel and do not forget to plus press the bell icon